is Mindy McIntosh Shutter, and I'm going to show you how to cure Gerber daisy fungus. Now the fungus occurs when the leaves of the Gerber daisy get wet, and that can occur when the humidity is high, you have cloudy days and cool temperatures, or you're watering from the top down versus from the bottom up. Now I'm going to offer you some suggestions that you can follow to prevent that, whether your plants are in the outdoors or inside. Now if your plants are on the inside, you need to make sure that you have enough air circulation around them. And a golden rule is if you are, your Gerber daisy is in a four inch pot, you need four inches all the way around your Gerber daisy for proper air circulation. Outside though, you will need to plant your Gerber daisies 12 to 15 inches apart. And that way you're guaranteed to have proper air circulation around them. You also need to plant them in a sunny location and that will help dry the leaves from the morning dew. Also, the time of day that you water as far as outside Gerbers is very important. You will need to only water your Gerber daisies in the morning, not in the evening. Watering in the evening allows the leaves to get wet and in doing so gives an ample amount of time for fungus to set in because you don't have the sunlight on those leaves to dry them out. For your indoor Gerbers though, you will need to water them from the bottom up. And this technique is very simple. You poke a hole in the decorative sleeve or you remove the plant from the decorative sleeve and you place it in a bowl of water. The plant will water itself through capillary action. Once your plant has taken up all the water that it needs, simply remove it from the bowl and place it back in its decorative sleeve. Following these simple tips will help cure Gerber daisy fungus.